Welcome to the Whole Athlete Podcast, where we focus on discussing topics to help you become a fat burner, optimize health, and improve performance in life and sports. Transform the whole you from the inside out with the holistic method. Let's dive in. Here's your host, Debbie Potts. Hey, everybody, it's Debbie Potts, your host of the Whole Athlete Podcast, where I'm always looking for new guests on the show to talk about ways that we can improve the whole athlete from the inside out. And it's an interesting subject I've I've heard about a little bit over the years, and I wanted to dive more into it. So today we have Dr. William Pollock on the show today to talk about PMFs, PMF. P-E-M-Fs. P-E-M-Fs, working your alphabet. So thank you. Kind of just want to start. What I always love to ask everyone is kind of what's your background, but really what's your passion, purpose, and your why? Well, the why is clearly to help people, and that's why I'm a medical doctor. I practice holistic medicine in the Baltimore area, but I've always been um, oriented towards helping people. And part of my passion uh, relative to helping people is to keep finding new ways of helping that are regardless of the medical paradigm. In other words, what, what's going to work? And the idea is not that you're following protocols or you're not following the book or you're not following what the professor has taught you. What you're doing is what's going to work for this person. Mm-hmm. So it's it, highly individualized. And you basically start to talk to people in their lexicon, in their uh, understandings, and so on. And you, again, go out and find new things that, that can help. So that's part of my journey. When um, oh, probably like in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, I had several patients who ended up in the hospital with gastric bleeding who almost died. In fact, actually one person died, not my patient, but somebody, one of my partners, one of my uh, practices patients, died from ibuprofen poisoning. That was, they took so much ibuprofen, the stomach started bleeding and they almost died from that. And we used a ton of ibuprofen at that time and it wasn't available OTC. It was mostly a prescription. So we were prescribing high, fairly high doses of ibuprofen to do what? To manage pain, Mm -hmm. (laughs) right? Uh, At that point, we were really kind of restrictive about using narcotics. It was a rare thing that we would use a narcotic. Back then in medicine, we knew that this was trouble. And we avoided it. But we used ibuprofen. So, well, that's safe. Ibuprofen is safe. It's not addictive. But people were having GI bleeding. So since then, I've discovered that over 30,000 people a year die from GI bleeding from ibuprofen. Wow. And that's not even overdosing. That's crazy. That's why people over- people call it vitamin I. <laughs> vitamin I. I, I know I people that would that. carry a baggie of it when they go for long runs, training for marathons and ultra running, that they just carry a little Ziploc bag of ibuprofen. Well, I'll give you an example of how dangerous it can be. If a woman used ibuprofen for every period of her life, for the for full extent of her period, at the end of her menstrual life, around menopause, she would have used over 3,000 grams of ibuprofen, Oof. which leads to a 400% increase of kidney failure. Wow. That's, That's just kidney failure. Never mind bleeding out from, from ibuprofen. So there's lots of trouble with this stuff. Uh, you know, and so there's always a need to find alternatives. So what did I do? I said, this is stupid medicine. Uh, it's insanity. You know, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting better results. Yeah. So I started studying acupuncture, and I got trained through a program at UCLA for doctors to learn acupuncture. But that was back in 1990, and so people were not doing acupuncture then. It was like, stay away from me with the needles. Don't come near me. Voodoo. <laughs> right? So I said, okay, fine. I can't use acupuncture. What can I do instead but using acupuncture principles? And that's when I discovered magnets. So magnets were, were used in the Orient for treating acupuncture points in Korea, using hand acupuncture, ear acupuncture, all sorts of acupuncture, using magnets. And I said, well, this is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating information that was just not available in the West. People didn't know about it at all. So I dug into it and started using them extensively and discovered I don't need to use ibuprofen. I still could use it occasionally, but if you're using it regularly, here's where the problem comes, right, that I mentioned. GI bleeding, kidney damage, other, and other, form, other problems as well in the body. So now magnets became a, um, a really important tool for us. 
because it did. I discovered that they did acupuncture. Magnets do acupuncture. And if you lay on a whole body magnetic pad, you're stimulating all the acupuncture points and meridians in the body at the same time, <laughs> at home, on your own. You don't have to go somewhere to get it done. You have to pay to get it done. Of course, you have to pay for the magnetic system, but you don't, you don't have to keep going places. To so you're it. lying on a pins and needles. Uh, well, no, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're lying on pins and needles that are blunt, that are actually yeah. a bed, a flat bed. It's like a, it seems like an obstacle race training method is going through fire, lying on needles. So kind of tell us, we're always looking for ways to improve recovery. I think, you know, we, I just got back from Ironman Hawaii, where top athletes in the world are competing at a very long distance, Ironman distance, and pushing their bodies to extreme. And I was at the finish line at a press pass. I was watching these people just sprint to the finish line, and what happens when they stop? They just, like, collapse. They're in a wheelchair. I'm watching <laughs> all these pro athletes included – you know, get wheeled off and go get IVs and get some treatment. And, you know, I think it's looking at how can we recover? We push ourselves and how can you recover and repair from in between your workout sessions, but also before and after a major race as an Ironman or marathon or 50K trail run or whatever they're doing endurance athletes. But, you know, what can we do? Well, um, one of the people that I worked with um, a number of years ago actually was uh, raced um, the desert races, the four, de the four races, four uh, races of the planet, oh, the major yes. deserts. Mm -hmm. they raced the, he raced the Sahara. He raced the Atacama. He raced the Gobi. He, never, he hasn't done the Antarctic yet because he's already pretty well wasted. <laughs> but after, after this Sahara race, he says, this is craziness. And he came in like 90th, 70th or 90th out of a field of about 120 people. First big race he's ever run. So he learned from that race how to do the training, how to get ready for a race. The, the next race he ran was the Atacama, and he was ready. Why? We started doing magnets. Hmm. We started doing a small pulse magnetic field system that he could place on his quads, on his calves, on his hips, on his back. And he would push himself. He'd be training like six hours a day. And he, he was able to pace himself better with his training because he was using the magnetic therapy for better, not only performance, but recovery. Another athlete that I worked with has raced across the country several times on his bike. He's raced in Europe. He's raced uh, all over the U.S. And he started using these little magnets, portable magnetic systems, on his thighs while he was racing. Hmm. He would be, he'd come in like, he was like, he's like um, in his 50s. So he's racing against 30 and 40 year olds. So he would normally be at the back of the pack. Started using the magnets, he won his first race. Wow. And that's right? keeping them on when he's racing. While, while he's racing. Yeah. I had another athlete that I worked with who was uh, one of the long distance golf drivers. He would drive golf balls and he was international. So he competed at the world class level, third, third in the world, until he was in his mid 40s using PEMFs, using pulse magnetic fields, regularly. He would use them before competitions. He would use them immediately after competitions and then for training and, and bodybuilding and, and personal development. So, I was just going to say, if you can throw in, let's define, I can jump ahead, but define what PEMF therapy stands for and what it does, because then we'll kind of dive into more of the magnetics but, and your products you've created. But let's okay. go back and explain the basics before we dive in deeper. All right. Most people are aware of magnets, yeah. fridge magnets, you know, the horseshoe magnets, the little bar magnets. You try to push them together. They repel each other and they snap together when you, when you have them the right way. Well, we're aware of those. And they, they can work to help the body as well, but they're very limited because they don't have a very deep penetration. So those are called static magnets. They, their magnetic field is not moving. It's static. Or the permanent magnets is the other term. Now, when you start to use, when you take a magnetic field and you pulse it, if you take a wire and you pulse, you actually drive current through a wire. Every wire has a magnetic field around it. Every wire. The, the nature of driving current through a wire produces a magnetic field. It's called the right hand rule. I'm wearing a magnet now on my wrist for my carpal tunnel. 
Let's see. So anyway, so we're, we use pulse magnetic fields. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> so we use pulse magnetic fields by driving current through a wire. As you're pulsing it through the wire, it, every time you pulse, it produces a magnetic field around it. You can cover the wire, so it's not electrical wire that's exposed. You touch yourself, you burn yourself, yeah, or electrocute yourself. This is not TENS machines or ESTEM, which is what you're doing. You're taking current, you're putting it on a pad, and you're driving that current into the skin. That's very different than a magnetic field. So magnetic fields driven through a wire are pulsed. That's pulsed electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. As opposed to magnetic fields, this is pulsed electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what the term PEMF stands for. And then you created this program or these products to help athletes and people heal from injuries and whatnot from your own experience and your own journey brought you to creating the flex pulse and the biobalance programs or products. Correct. Correct. Now I didn't, they're not my manufacturer. I didn't manufacture them, but we worked yes. with an engineering firm in Germany to have them manufactured and we had significant input into their manufacturing. Um, so we designed them to produce specific kinds of frequencies and intensities and be portable, battery operated, rechargeable, and so on. So this, this is the little magnet I have on my, on my wrist for my carpal tunnel. I wear it under a, a little band on my wrist. The magnetic unit looks like this. So this is a small, very portable magnetic pad, magnetic unit. It looks like that. It's called a Soma Pulse. They're no longer available. I still have a bunch of them around, so I, I use them, obviously. It's, it's battery operated, so it's, it's very handy. It's very portable, very light. And that's what these athletes that I was describing to you were using. So they carry they, that pack with them? Well, when the one on the bicycle, yes, that was easy because he could put it in his pocket. The Atacama races, the four deserts races, um, they couldn't. They had to carry, they had to, they, all they could have bring with them is what they carried. Mm. And when you add batteries, it's just too much weight. Yeah. So they would use them at, at the end of the trip or they would use them in training and separate. That's how this guy who trained at the Atacama did. So he was like, he placed something like 90th out of 120 or so with the Sahara. He rose up to, uh, by the time he did the Gobi Desert, he was like number 20. Wow. So how, why, how does that work then? So explain that, like you talk about magnets. So how does that work on improving their performance in what way? All right. So uh, a whole bunch of things are happening with magnetic fields. Uh, they, move, they move through the body as if the body wasn't even there. If you take a, mag a magnet and you have it here and you, in air, across this space from my hands, mm -hmm. I have a magnetometer or a field tester. The same amount of energy will hit my hand whether there's a body in between or not. It doesn't matter whether it's muscle or bone, the entire body, the head, the shoulders, the knees, the hips, whatever. It doesn't matter. The magnetic field goes right through the body as if it wasn't even there. <laughs> As it's passing through, it's like the wind in the trees. You see the leaves jiggling, but you can't see the wind. Mm. All you know is that the leaves are jiggling. Yeah. Okay, and that's what is, is driving the energies. The energy is producing the leaves to be moving. Well, in a sense, in the body, the magnetic field is doing the same thing. It's stimulating all sorts of processes in the body. We know we have 100 trillion cells in our body. We know each cell in the body has 2,000 chemical processes per second, every single cell. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> and when you're performing, when you're training, you injure your tissues. You're pushing them to the maximum of their, their potential for performance. And when you've done that pushing, we know that you build muscle by tearing it, right? Yeah. You build new bone by breaking it, by having these micro fractures. You have micro tears in muscles. You have micro tears in, in, in bones. And the body rebuilds itself. So what you're doing is with magnetic fields, when you have these little micro tears, you accelerate the healing process. You have the time that it takes to heal. So delayed muscle onset soreness, delayed onset muscle soreness after exercise or activity or training or bodybuilding is repaired just like that with magnetic fields. Wow. I would work outside in my yard taking down a tree, have to cut up a tree and haul it all off. Right? I'm not using muscles I don't use regularly. I know the next day I'm going to hurt like heck. Right? So what I do is I go, I go lay down on my magnetic pad right after I finish the tree. Hmm. Next morning you wake up, zero muscle soreness. 
So what's the difference of magnetic pad to a far infrared pad that people use, like a, a mat, the bio mat, something like that? Yeah. Um, there's several issues related to different technologies. One of the most important is the depth of penetration. You need a certain depth of penetration for the energy to be sufficient to drive the biochemical changes that the body needs. And infrared is very high frequency. Mm -hmm. Infrared is like microwaves in its own way, which means it doesn't penetrate very deep. If I want to treat the entire brain, I need to have a magnetic field that will go right through the brain, all the way through with a sufficient amount of energy to drive the repair and the healing of the brain. So you improve circulation, you reduce inflammation, you increase ATP. One of the most efficient ways of increasing ATP throughout the entire body is with magnetic field therapy. Hmm. whole body in particular. If you, I give you ATP, if I give you NAD, if I give you all these supplements that, that uh, supposedly increase ATP, do they, what, what do they do? They increase ATP, for sure, because it's supply. But you only build enough ATP for what you actually need, you know, your body's ability to actually make it. What magnetic fields do is they not only help you to produce the ATP naturally from within, but they also help you to take off one of the phosphate molecules that releases the energy. So mm -hmm. having ATP doesn't give you energy. You have to convert it to energy. You have to what's called hydrolyze it into energy. Mm -hmm. Magnetic fields not only increase the ATP, they hydrolyze it and then reconvert it. Hmm. So it's a constant process of, of, of production of ATP, production and, and energy from ATP. Every cell in the body is able to be treated that way. And we want to work for having those cells, the pro damaging our cells through exercise, probably, and having cell death, and we need to detoxify and release dead All cells, the, basically. The byproducts. <laughs> yeah, right. the byproducts. So right. does this help speed up cell rebuilding, cell health, and recovery? Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Then? Absolutely. One of the key, uh, key benefits or uses of PEMFs is um, – is the ability to uh, repair tissue. Uh, can I, I have to ex excuse myself. I wasn't paying attention to this. My battery is gonna die. Excuse me okay. one second. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. All right. So tissue repair is one of the key uh, aspects of what PEMFs do. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a little girl who cut the end of her thumb off. Ew. Three year old, Aww. in a door jam. Somebody slammed the door jam on her thumb and it cut it right off. Yuck. Um, so her father called me and he asked how I could help because the surgeons wanted to clean it up and put a graft on it. If they grafted that thumb, this child would have had a deformed thumb for the rest of her life. So I convinced the father that she got nothing to lose if you put it back on again, sew it back on, and then treat it with magnetic therapy. So she used this little machine an hour and a half to three hours a day. Six weeks later, so the first pictures that I got, it was black. You could see the sutures around the, the, the replacement. Wow. Six weeks later, it was pink. Ugh. 12 weeks later, she regrew her nail back. Wow, 12 weeks. That's crazy. Just from magnet therapy, did she that's just so you have that? She did. That's, that's all, all she did. did. She had that yep. device in her pocket. Did you have to have the she, magnet right around it then? She, she wore it around her finger. Okay. So now you can't get a three and a half year old to sit still for very long. <laughs> yeah, so all we could do was an hour to an hour and a half a day. I would have rather that she had done uh, more it's like six or eight hours a day. Yeah. Huh. So for athletes, so they, should they use it? I'm just looking at article you wrote that I'll share on our show notes, but it says just recovery after workouts and long runs sped up and the muscle fatigue was decreased and energy levels increased best people's best time, training times they improve them from this and the chronic knee and hip pain discomfort improved as well and that's an example of someone using the portable system five to seven days for one to four hours a day which is kind of a lot so how can this be more realistic how can people that you know can use that during the day if they're I mean, you don't have to be lying still using it, right? You can just carry no, on your daily no, activity. I, mean, I, have, I put this in my pocket. 
Yeah, just do whatever you normally do. Just have that yeah. on. Have, a, have it under my little brace. Run the, run the lead down into my pocket. And, it, and then I go on about my business. That's the beauty of the portable machines. Mm -hmm. The biobalance as a whole body magnetic system, which is different. And so the whole body system, then you do have to lay down. It's plugged into power. Uh, or it has a battery operation too. So you can actually put it in your car. You can drive while you're treating yourself while you're driving. So there are different kinds of magnetic systems. And on my website, drpollock.com, we have a ton of different magnetic systems. Mm -hmm. And the reason I have so many different magnetic systems is because everybody's got different needs. Yeah. So as a, as a doctor, like say if I was a, tr a, a sports medicine doctor, which I don't specialize in or don't do uh, only, um, I would gear the treatment device to the person, what they need. The rule of thumb is the higher the intensity of the magnetic field, the faster the results. Because the more, more energy you deliver into the tissues, at all the different levels of the tissues that you need that energy, the faster the changes are and the better they hold. So the more damage you have, then the more energy you need and the longer you need to treat. Because that, like that little the thumb, that little girl's thumb, it's got to heal itself. I can't force it to heal immediately. Yeah. Even G.O.D. doesn't. <laughs> So, right? but, we, we, but we accelerate the whole thing much better than we could normally. Yeah. So if you have it, say your, your legs are tired from running or you went bike riding, would you put, where would you put the magnets? If well, it depends know. on the muscles that you're using. In the case of that um, the rider, the bike, bicycle uh, rider, the competitive bicycle rider, he was putting it on his quads. Hmm. I've had people put it on their glutes. If you have back pain, you put it on your back. If you're doing power lifting, you might want to put it on your quads and, and your back. Uh, but if your shoulders are sore, if you're a tennis player and now you've got tendonitis of your shoulders or tennis elbow, you put it where you put it where you have a need for it. Is most and of my oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was just saying most of my personal training clients in my fitness studio that I own that most people play golf and tennis, and that's a big sport. And I think you know, so many people have tennis, elbow, shoulder issues. And what I find, because we're all getting older, it's just how to improve the aging process so we can continue playing golf, tennis, going for running races, going for triathlons and cycling, whatever. But it's just how can we make I don't want to feel old and use that age as an excuse that's like, oh, I take longer to recover and my body's just not the same. I just feel like we can kind of biohack that in a way to improve that process. Right. So uh, in an ideal world, if you had all the money that you needed, if you won the mega millions, you know, you'd have all the money you need. You'd own five different systems. You'd own a very high intensity system because it's going to get you the results better faster. You own a whole body system that has multiple frequency capabilities. So you can pick different programs for different needs. You own a portable little system so you can carry around with you as you need it. You can use it while you're competing. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a story. Um, one of my friends was a, um, a trainer for uh, an American Olympic team. And I, I'm not, I can't remember now which one it was, but he said he would be coaching and he'd be working with the, with the athletes and they would be like dead after a day of tryouts. Yeah. He, and he, the next morning, the East Germans and the Russians were back like robots. Like nothing ever happened. They did the same comp competitions. They worked as hard as our athletes did, but they were up and about the next day like robots. He went past their training camp and he discovered they were laying in magnetic tubes. <laughs> in tubes? In tubes. Wow. They, they weren't doping. They were just doing magnetic therapy. Yeah. Huh. So the, there's a lot of uh, information out there as well as we talked about far infrared, but the, you know, infrared saunas with the low, mid and high. And then we've got cryotherapy doing the cold plunge pools. And then we've got recovery boots as example, Norma Tech. How can you put all these kind of hacks into one? And do you have a system that you use like the magnets when you're in a compression boot for recovery? Does that help in doing a... Sure hot cold Absolutely. therapy afterwards or is there, have anyone created the ideal protocol for athletes? No, no. no. <laughs> Did not Everybody, Dave Asprey. Yeah. Dave Asprey does it all. See what... but that's right. So when I worked with Dave as well, I, I've been on his podcast, uh, he and I spoke extensively 
you have to have multiple devices. That's why I said if you had all the money in the world, you'd have different devices because every one of them does something different. Mm -hmm. But PEMFs can be combined with things. So one of the reasons I focus on PEMFs, as opposed to many other technologies, is if you can only own one system, you're going to get the most value out of PEMFs because of the depth of penetration, because of the power, because there's a ton of research about PEMFs. And I've written a book called Power Tools for Health. And that book has 500 references on the, on the science behind PEMFs, all the clinical conditions, all the different mechanisms of action that magnetic fields have. The information that's available on PEMFs has been around for about 70 years. Okay, so it's not recent, I, recent ideas or recent technology. It's been around for a long, long time. That's what the Russians were using. 20 years ago, they were using magnetic field therapies. And we, we didn't even know what they were. We're a little behind the times and some recovery. It's like the same with cold therapy and infrared sauna as good as Scandinavian countries. They've been doing it for a thousand years. A long time. And they have not, they probably haven't been combining things. So if you need, you can only afford one tool. Mm -hmm. The most efficient tool is PEMFs. And then what device do you have that's most affordable for people that don't have biohacking labs on Vancouver Island like Dave Asprey <laughs> and Ben Greenfield and his who, place? Who, who, who didn't start that way. Yeah, exactly. They have to gradually build up. Um, well, the BioBalance is a, it's an affordable whole body system. It's not the highest intensity that you could get. But then, again, if you don't want to, there are a low intensity, very low intensity PEMF systems on the market today that are sold for $6,000. And people have, I'm sure, heard of lots of these and been approached by multi-level marketing people about mm -hmm. them. But they're only, I'll give an example, they're only one Gauss. So mm -hmm. Gauss, G-A-U-S-S, -S, is a measure of magnetic field intensity. Mm -hmm. They're one Gauss and they cost $6,000. Mm -hmm. This is like my stupid medicine. Why would somebody spend, I don't mean to offend anybody, but why yeah. would somebody want to spend $6,000 for something that's only one Gauss? This little machine is 200 Gauss. Wow. Now, it's difference. very local in the way it works. But I have whole body magnetic systems that are 1,500 Gauss. And not a whole lot more expensive than one of these very low intensity whole body systems, mm. which are still much more expensive than the biobalance. And the biobalance is five times stronger than the one Gauss machines. Hmm. So it's five Gauss. And, I know and it's much some cheaper. Pe some people have those bracelets, the magnetic bracelets. Do those do anything? I know some people are getting into the, those little magic bracelets sure sure they they i have them too and i wear a magnetic necklace in yeah. fact, myself um and th so they stimulate the acupuncture points and meridians around the wrists and you can use copper bracelets mm -hmm. and the copper bracelets interact with the ions in the, in the fluids of the skin the moisture of the skin it, the bracelet itself causes you to sweat under the bracelet that causes contact with the copper which then creates current mm -hmm. it's a very tiny tiny current but there's been research done in, in England that showed that these kinds of magnet, magnets around the wrist can actually help shoulder pain. They're not very strong, so they don't work that well. Mm -hmm. So if you're really pushing yourself very hard, it's probably not enough energy to, to really make a big difference for yourself, mm -hmm. especially for triathletes. So what about those people that are just, you know, mainstream exercising, you know, people that go to the health club, go to my fitness studio, they're not competing at a high level as an Ironman athlete, but they just want to improve the aging process, as I said, and we always talk more nutritional therapy about cell health and improve detoxification processes and just that, that aging process of our cells and help the mitochondria and all everything else at that level. Does this help anything with that? Just being healthy seems like the magnetics would be involved somewhat, as you said before. Absolutely. On my website, if I could screen share, or you? Um, can Good. you see my uh, website? No. Share. I, I'm technology. There we go. <laughs> you see that now? Yep. Here we go. So if you guys are looking on the YouTube channel for the Whole Athlete Podcast, you can see his screen share of the products, drpollock.com. And there's a copy of the book. So there's a ton of information on the website. Right about all this so the books and power tools for health that you can find on your website too on the website but and if people want to get the book they get a free online bonus course 
It's a $1,000 value that you get for free if you buy the book off the website. Now, the book, you buy the book from Amazon, but as part of that link, you actually get the free course. The reason I mentioned the course is that um, what happens is one of the videos is about how PEMF slow down aging. Okay. Right? And the yeah. reason they do that is for what I just mentioned. Aging in all of us, whether you're a top-level athlete or not, aging is death by a thousand cuts. It's all the nicks that we get in life. Mm-hmm. And the bigger the nicks, the faster we age. The more you use your body, the more help the body needs to be able to maintain itself. So food is very, is very important. Rest is very important. Don't do stupid things. Don't jump out of airplanes. <laughs> well, maybe you should. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> but you know it's going to be a problem occasionally. So all these things are, are part of the whole package of being healthy. And magnetic field therapy is one of the missing ingredients that most of us have to slow the aging process. Because what do we use to actually stimulate? If you eat properly, you still have to activate that food. That food has to access the cell. If the cell is damaged or the cell is restricted, because if it's inflamed or slowed down in its function, then food doesn't get in. Mm -hmm. A, and waste doesn't get out. So magnetic field therapy opens up the membrane channels, allows the nutrients to get in, and because the the windows are now open in the cell, waste gets out better. So the cell lives longer. And dead cells or cells that are about to die, which they should, they're supposed to turn over, Mm -hmm. turn over faster. So in other words, they don't sit around clogging up the works. So the whole aging process is basically shifted up. Now, when do you start? If you start at 75, how much anti-aging are you going to get? (laughs) <laughs> not as much as at 45. <laughs> and not as much as at 45. And certainly not as much as if, if you're, and you especially need it when you are really pushing your body to its limits regularly. That's why I felt like watching Ironman Hawaii and I raced, you know, 15 Ironmans. And that's why I feel this need to share this different type of information with athletes that, you know, you're pushing yourself, you're damaging your body in uh, not the ideal way. So I think, you know, exercise is good, but too much of anything causes some dysfunction and health and problems. And not allowing the body to repair after you do. Exactly. Injury. So, right. yeah. So why well, people are, are I know people are going to do what they love to do. So how can we make the best of it and avoid that speeding up the aging process and having these injuries and nicks, niggles and all the problems. Nicks and cuts. Nicks and cuts. So the bio balance, I think, is a reasonable thing for the average person. And it's not a, a large amount of energy, and it's, but it's not a large amount of cost. So it's still, mm-hmm. on, a, on a day-to-day basis, it, it has a, a lot of advantages in just generally increasing the energy level of the cells of the body. And that looks, I'm just looking at the picture of it. I'll put in the show notes, but it looks like just a balanced wobble board that we use, but it has magnets on the, where you're standing. Um, I don't know what picture you're looking at. On your website. <laughs> so what does it look like? Am I looking at the wrong thing? Uh, the biobalance on the website, right? Can you see that? I, I have it on my screen. Um, mm. is, a, is a large pad. Okay. That, uh, it's a, like a blue color, deep blue color. And it has a, what we call a pillow applicator and a whole, whole, ba- whole pad, whole body pad. And then it's got a, a control unit that's about this big, and it's white. Uh, it has the capability of being plugged in, but also has the capability of running for about six hours on a battery. Wow. And you can use both applicators at the same time, so you can kind of sandwich an area. So you can lay on the whole body pad and treat your whole back, get all the tissues in the body, but you can also add some extra energy by ad- having the pillow applicator, say, over your hip. Or over a shoulder. Yeah. Huh. That's not what I was looking at, obviously. (laughs) As a picture in the article of athletes on a wobble board. It looked like it was magnets, but maybe not. So I was looking at this too. What's the Allmag one? A unit elastic strap magnetic field tester. What's that one? So the Allmag is is a Russian machine that uh, each disc is about, there's four discs. They're in a chain. They're in like a belt. And that di- those discs are 200 Gauss each. The Almeg is very good. 
it, it can treat a wider area. So you can strap it around your chest and be treating your chest area. But it's local. Each disc is just local in its treatment. You could put it along the back. So if you go to the website, go to the store, and, and look down and see the Almag, you'll see the, a model there that has the placements on the body. The Almag has its problems. The Almag is that it only runs for about 15 minutes. That shuts off, and you have to keep running it over and over and over again. Hmm. And you have to sit there while you're doing it. So, so that's okay. Want... <laughs> but it's it, it's <laughs> inexpensive, really. and it works. So I'd probably look at people probably like the Flex Pulse when you have a battery operated and it lasts longer. And it's portable and can take it with you on trips and races. Absolutely. You can use it for sleep. So you can help to recover yourself. I use my Flex Pulse every night to, for sleep. Hmm. So you can so, put it under your pillow and it tunes the brain waves to slow the brain down. And we have lots, lots of people who've given us testimonials with the Aura ring. Yeah. It shows that their sleep patterns have significantly decreased. In other words, they've gone down into Delta and slept longer, better. That's what was my next question as... You know, people are always wondering, you know, all these different devices, how do you know if it's working? So if you can, you know, test it, but how can you measure if changes? So like you said, the aura ring, what else, how can you tell it's working besides just, mm, I feel better, that pain's gone HRV, away. HRV, yeah. thermography, um, um, tissue resistance measurements. There's many ways that have been shown, you know, to sh that show that like, the PEMFs are actually working. Blood pressure is decreased. Obviously, stamina increases. You can take alertness. You can clearly show alertness. We actually, lots of people have done brainwave studies with PEMFs around the brain and did EEGs. So you could do a quantitative EEG or you could do alpha training and you can actually use devices that actually can measure brainwave patterns and you can clearly see the changes. Nice. That's pretty great. So athletes and people non-athletes just i think are all we all have the same goal i would think hopefully to improve the aging process so we can continue being active as we get older and avoid those debilitating injuries and also you know just your energy levels going downhill because we're not absorbing the nutrients and getting them into the cells as you talked about and i think that's a huge part i keep writing about and speaking on podcasts is that you know, eating great food, but being able to digest it properly and get it into your cells is a whole nother area that we need to focus on. So this will all combine with everything will help us at a cellular level, you're saying. Absolutely. Hmm. I mean, one of the key things, injury causes edema. Injury causes swelling of the yep. tissues. One of the earliest signs that magnetic fields were working is that you can see the swelling come down. We've seen bruises literally gone in 24 hours. Well, that's a good way to measure. <laughs> if you see a bruise and it's gone, see, that's easier. Right. <laughs> hmm. So where can people learn more about the product? We've got your website. We'll put in the show notes, drpollock.com. And do you have videos or any information of people get into watching educational videos? And There are tons more? of educational videos on the website. There's a blog. So there's lots of articles in the blog. Uh, there's the book. Um, clearly, and I do recommend the book for those who are science oriented and want to see the evidence. The book is really the, the Bible, if you will, about PEMFs. Which There's is a, the most popular product? Um, uh, well, the ones that probably most people tend to purchase more often than not is the thing that's most flexible for them. So, the Flex Pulse that's why we call it the Flex Pulse is the most portable. And most of the time, most people are not even aware that they should use whole body magnetic therapy, right? Most people just are not tuned to health maintenance. So we're, most of us tend to be focused on the problems. Yeah. Putting band-aids right? on them. <laughs> and so what most people tend to buy is the flex pulse and the flex pulse is nice because it has five important programs. One program helps to repair and stimulate stem cells in particular. Hmm. And that's program one. That's 10 Hertz. Program two combines 10 hertz with 100 hertz. So program two is really good for musculoskeletal issues, inflammation, soreness, aching after exercise, and so on. Program three is for sleep. Mm. That's delta. It's three hertz. Put it under your pillow, put it under your head, and you can use it all night long. It'll run all night at a sufficient level of intensity that you notice it. 
I know there are times when I couldn't sleep. I take it and I put it under my head, under my neck, where the sleep center is in the brain called the reticular activating center, uh, RAS. Mm -hmm. I just put it right in that area. And literally within three to five minutes, I didn't care. You're out. You're, fu- you're out. You're asleep. I, was, I wasn't out. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily asleep, but I didn't care anymore. So I wasn't as anxious that I wasn't asleep. Uh, and then if you do that from that, you fall asleep. <laughs> you, you, you unwind, basically. Yeah. You wind down. So you can we run all it all night long. Good. Well, I'll put all this in the show notes. And okay. if people want to learn more, they ask any questions. You guys have a forum or the blog post. You can answer questions. And we, we do emails. You can email us at info at drpollock.com. We have a Facebook page, Dr. William Pollock. Good. I think it's interesting stuff. It's new information to some people that I know I've heard the word and listening to Dave Asprey over the years and following programs with Ben Greenfield. You know, they were talking about it and I was looking at different hacks you can do to improve that aging process and your performance in sports. So something is if you are looking for something to take it to the next level. And I think if we want to work on recovery repair from the sports that we do and just living life, <laughs> especially sleep. You know, we talk so much about sleep for your recovery and repair process. And a lot of people go to bed too late and up too early just to get more stuff in the day that they're not sleeping enough. So I think if you can, you know, aid in improving your quality of sleep at least is a one step further forward to being healthier. So thank you for your time today and sharing your information, the science behind this product. It's interesting. You're very welcome. I enjoyed uh, visiting with you and your tribe. All right. Thank you. We're always looking at improved performance for the whole athlete. So look for us on the Facebook group page, the whole athlete page, and our YouTube channel, the whole athlete and the holistic method on YouTube channel. So we'll be in touch and we'll have to experiment with this new product. I was looking for new ways to get myself healthier. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Whole Athlete Podcast. If you have any questions, feedback, or topic suggestions, let us know on Facebook or at wholeathletepodcast.com. You can help us continue and grow by leaving a review on iTunes. Thanks again and see you next time.